Here it says the height of a projectile is given by this formula here. If an object is launched with an initial speed, v naught is 128, from ground level, that means s is 0, then how long will it take to reach a height of 256? Okay, so let's first write the formula. We're given that the height in terms of t is equal to negative 16t squared plus v naught, and v naught was given to be the initial speed of 128. So plus 128 times t, and s, ground level here, s is 0. Okay, so this is the formula for the height of the object. Now it says then, how long will it take to reach the height of 256 feet? So let's go ahead and substitute that in for the height. 256 then goes there. So negative 16t squared plus 128t, and we need to solve for t. This here is our setup. t is the time it takes to reach that height. Okay, so we have a quadratic equation. We need to solve this. And since the leading coefficient is negative, I'm going to add these terms to the other side. So first thing I'm going to do is add 16t squared to both sides. And then I'm also going to subtract 128t. Now since those aren't like terms, let's just write it like this. 16t squared minus 128t, okay, plus 256 then has to equal 0. At this point, I notice 16 is a GCF. So what I'm going to do is factor that out. It'll be easier to uh, factor the trinomial if I do that. So 16 goes into 128 eight times. So that leaves me with minus 8t plus um, 16 goes into 256 16 times. Okay, so now we'll try to factor that trinomial t times t, 16 factors, 4 times 4, and then 4 and 4 add up to negative 8 if they're both negative. Negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. Okay, then set each variable factor equal to 0. So t minus 4 equals 0, or t minus 4 equals 0. So that tells me t equals 4. It occurs twice. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, t was the time, right? t was the time it takes to get to 256 feet. Okay, so the projectile um, will, will be at 256 feet in four seconds.